Give my forty-two dollars back, you crooked ass motherfucker. <laughs> All good, baby, baby. Welcome to Cranston. To learn more about historic Route 66, visit Macquarie Township in the Gehenna Badlands. Listen to every panel on both sides to win a prize. Adventures of the Dempsey Gang was filmed on location in Cavanaugh County. Set pieces from the production of this Hollywood epic are on permanent display here at Ringers. Hell yeah! This won't be a problem. This sucks so bad! I don't think so. Don't be gross. From 1959 to 1962, Rocky the Rockasaurus romped his way through Saturday morning cartoons, a discount theme park, and even his own breakfast cereal. Now he welcomes visitors to our little stretch of Route 66.
did you know? Cranston is named for the Honorable Elias G. Cranston, who served as mayor of Santo Aleso from 1925 to 1939. Under his administration, the Cranston Dam Project was built on the Rio Salinas. This photo's going viral. Bad day to get carjacked. Oh, this is my kind of place. This isn't my day. I feel so alive! And then I told her to pack her back. I could snap this. This is all right. Hi, see? Did this you know, is why I prefer to just this site in 1978, paleontologists discovered the fossilized remains of a Tacosaurus. With its crunchy outer shell and meat-filled interior, the Tacosaurus could be eaten for lunch or dinner in the late Jurassic period. I'm really enjoying this. Who needs real food? Not for me, man. <laughs> Congratulations, you have completed Cranston. This is all very educational. Speak to a representative! Maybe you should try harder next. be responsible for what my face does when y'all I feel better knowing Los Panteros took such a beat. Are Saints the bad guys? 
cheese. Do they need all those weapons? That church is gonna come to the Who was that? Welcome to Sky Canyon. To learn more about the natural wonders of the Rojas Desert, visit the Sidewinder Creek Scenic Overlook. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. I just feel more raw when I don't shower every day. This part is really hard. So I have to throw those underwear out. Did you know? The Bartolome de Rojas Fountain honors the proud men and women who have served in the Cavanaugh County Park Service, established in 1933. Triggered my allergies. With them around, I better hold on to my wallet. I've got somewhere to be. Hey. I barely even recognize. Did you know? From here, one can see the Mesa Palacio and the North Spar of the Horn Gate. These and other unique landmarks have made the Rojas Desert a popular destination for visitors from around the world. Maybe I'll forgive, but I'll never forget. Who are those purple dudes? Oh, that's the last straw. I could never study that much to be a doctor. Creek starts at the Bone Lake Reservoir and flows south and east into the Rio Salinas. 300 million years ago, the Rojas Desert was submerged beneath the waters of an ancient sea. <laughs> I forgot how much I hated walking. <laughs> Did you know? Here in the heart of Sky Canyon, visitors can look up and see the natural bridges and wide blue expanse that give this geological formation its name. That's a little bit pushing out those panteros. Just trying to make a living, like everyone else. I do not like that. What a snappy looking church. Congratulations, you have completed Sky Canyon. Man, this is some majestic shit right here. I get in my steps.
captured. Welcome to the Sidewinder Creek Scenic Overlook. To learn more about the natural wonders of the Rojas Desert, visit nearby Sky Canyon. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. I could take a photo. I'll take that under consideration. Fuck you very much. Did you know? I have worked for the Cavanaugh County Park Service for over 20 years without so much as a thank you. Shakes the snake, gets more respect than I do, and he's a fucking cartoon. Shit! Having the time of my life! Did you know? Sidewinder Creek blah 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 blah. You're not even listening, are you? You just want your big prize. Woo-hoo. Well, don't let me stop you. Did you know? They're going to lay me off after I finish these recordings. They think they can replace me with a bunch of signs. Well, I happen to know where the bodies are buried around here, so we'll just see about that. Did you know? Sidewinder Creek Bridge is on the verge of collapse. After bribing county officials to get the job, the contractor pulled the entire bridge out of his ass. And I've got the photos to prove it. I'm drunk and y'all still ugly. Congratulations, you have completed the Sidewinder Creek Scenic Overlook. That was different. Thank you for
exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Remember, kids, just leave footprints. Everything's fine if you got wine. Welcome to Beware the Grizzly Bear by Nazoni Fisher. To learn more about the history of street art in Santo Aleso, visit the Grand Prix in Rancho Providencia. Listen to every panel on both sites to win a prize. Did you know? This exhibit of local artist Nazoni Fisher is brought to you by the Cavanaugh County Independent Business Alliance, who remind you to keep it strange, Santo. Did you know? Nazoni Fisher is now considered one of the most provocative and innovative artists of her generation. Her work is celebrated by creators, critics, and collectors from around the world. Did you know? In this work, the waste products of late capitalist society are assembled into a hungry predator. With its bloody fangs and sharp claws, the bear is poised to rip the viewer to shreds. I love this! Who said eight shots would do that? Um. Back away no. or you regret it. Only idols allowed here. Get gone. The boss is the best boss I ever had. They have been fucking up Los Pantero. Oh? You're gonna trust Galileo over me? Why are we Did you know? Fisher remained anonymous throughout her career. She installed her work under the cover of darkness to the surprise and occasional horror of the local neighborhood. That's what you think. I'm not gonna 
Congratulations, you have completed Beware the Grizzly Bear. Nina would be proud of me. I tried that place, but I didn't like the food. Welcome to Captain Valera's Rancho Providencia. To learn more about the history of Santo Aleso before 1854, visit nearby Fort Collin. The chupacabra isn't real, you know. Ah, damn it! Did you know? These days, Rancho Providencia is a vibrant neighborhood on the Santo Aleso's east side. However, at the time of the original 1821 land grant, Rancho Providencia included all of what is now Cavanaugh County. Did you know? In July 1847, Mexican forces under Major Honorato Monterroso placed their guns on this hill to attack El Presidio de Santo Aleso, occupied by Colonel Joseph Cullen and his 4th Missouri Mounted Volunteers. Munchies. So good. Thanks for the ten bucks. Did you know? In 1821, the government of Mexico gave a parcel of land to Captain Miguel Valera for his military service. Valera built his settlement on the site and called it Rancho Providencia. I'm liking this. I'd agree, but then both of us would be wrong. Damn it. 
did you know? Under the full moon of July 27th, 1847, Colonel Cullen led his men on a raid to surprise the Mexican army. On this very spot, a pack of werewolves ambushed and devoured the Missouri Volunteers. Congratulations! You have completed Rancho Providencia. A lot of stuff happened around here. Welcome to Meeker Square. To learn more about the miracles of El Santo Ileso, visit St. Thomas Corvacho and the Padre Salazar Community Center in Rancho Providencia. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Gotta make sure to get my good side. can't talk to you when you get hysterical like this. He couldn't afford me. I have no idea what I am doing. They really took Los Panteros down a peg. Hey, you don't want my opinion? Don't ask. For another photo? This is whack. I can't believe I already have arthritis. I'm not even 23. Maybe that saint can teach me to use all those fucking pens. That's all I have to say on that subject. I'll post this online to make my ex wife jealous. This is not right. Yo, oh, I wish I had a command grab. Gary needs to stop saying coffee is for closing. Fuck yeah! This shit try to move soon. Okay, we attack at dawn. Did you know? Meeker was saved by a Spanish priest who died in the 16th century. In recognition of this and other miracles, Father Thomas Corvacho, better known as El Santo Ileso, was made a saint in 1900. Did you know? The incident depicted in this statue occurred in the vicinity of Panther Rock, 
where Meeker was attacked by two mountain lions, a snake, an eagle, and a swarm of angry bees. Everyone knows they're a master thief by now. This is bullshit! Why does he drink a drink and not food? Did you know? The story of Jedediah Meeker inspired novels, popular songs, and an early hit Broadway musical. Nearby Meeker City, incorporated in 1883, is named for the famed explorer. This isn't my idea of a good time. And the rash still hasn't gone away. Last time I used a hookup, man. Life is moving too fast. Can I do this forever? Did you know? Meeker Square is named for Lieutenant Jedediah Meeker of the U.S. Army Corps of Topographical Engineers. In 1854, Meeker surveyed the area we now know as Cavanaugh County. Stop talking. This is divine! Jeez! Congratulations! You have now completed Meeker Square. I thought this place was called Circle Square. Welcome to Fort Cullen. To learn more about the history of Santo Eleso before 1854, visit Captain Valera's Rancho Providencia. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? Colonel Cullen had a stack of cannonballs made of solid silver. Designed to be fired from the regiment's field guns, each projectile weighed nearly 16 pounds. Cullen mined the silver from the nearby hills. Did you know? When the United States took possession of the fort in 1854, they named it in honor of Colonel Joseph Fox Collin, hero of the Mexican-American War and legendary werewolf hunter. Did you know? Over 300 years ago on this very spot, Domnall Cavanaugh established the first permanent Spanish settlement in the Rio Salinas Valley. He named the fort El Presidio de Santo Eleso. Did you know? Colonel Cullen and his 4th Missouri Mounted Volunteers occupied El Presidio de Santo Eleso from 1846 until Cullen's death in 1847, the last documented werewolf attack in Cavanaugh County. Congratulations, you have completed Fort Cullen. My brain's not big enough for all these facts. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize.
If I can't be a werewolf, at least I can look like one. Welcome to the Red Faction Memorial Park. To learn more about the history of beer making in Santo Eliso, visit Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. Listen to every panel on both sites to win a prize. It is what it is. Oh, IBS really Did sucks. you know? On May 22, 2001, Red Faction made its final stand here against the Altor Corporation. The striking workers sought an end to inhumane working conditions and unethical human experiments. I can't be responsible for what my face does when y'all talk. I don't see any curve. hired an elite squad of mercenaries to suppress the Red Faction uprising. On May 22, 2001, they opened fire on a gathering of unarmed workers. aftermath of the May 22nd massacre, Altor was forced to sell off many of its subsidiaries, including Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. I need a vacation. Keeping my eye on the saints. Life is better when you cool. Did you know? This brew pub was founded by the survivors of the 2001 Red Faction Uprising. Previously, the site was the regional headquarters of Altor Corporation. feel like somebody's watching me. Congratulations! You have completed Red Faction Memorial Park. Damn, I had no idea all this happened here.
Welcome to Lake Alacran. To learn more about the automotive history of Santo Eliso, visit Go Kart Go in El Dorado. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? Abner Pulley Whitaker was a machinist for the Pacific National Railroad. In 1884, he built a kerosene-fueled, steam-powered, horseless carriage in this very shed. Did you know? Abner Whitaker tested his horseless carriage on this very site. Reaching speeds of nearly 15 miles per hour, the vehicle rocketed across the lake bed to set a new county record. Did you know? Lake Alacran has been dry for over 200 years. Boaters, swimmers, and anglers eagerly await the day when its cool, refreshing waters flow once again. Did you know? Abner Whitaker's horseless carriage exploded on this very spot, nearly ending his life. In 1896, he would establish the Scorpion Automobile Company in Smelterville. Shut the hell up, Liver. You're fine. Congratulations. You have completed Lake Alacran. You learn something new every day, I guess. I'm too drunk to walk. Welcome to the Jasinski Public Library. To learn more about Anthony M. Jasinski, developer of the Lakeshore Financial District, visit the nearby Jasinski Pavilion. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. I prefer the movies. Is there any gun that Saint doesn't have? Bull fucking shit! Did you know? The 
Jasinski Public Library was completed in 1928. Jasinski designed the building to serve as the capital of a future pan-Earth government, but his dream was never fulfilled. What does HR want to talk about this time? I changed that church to a big place. Of course, this is a burner. The Saints are one big score from taking off. Did you know? Santo Eleso purchased the building in 1958 for its main public library. And it served in that capacity until 1980, when the collection moved to a brutalist construction in Mercado. Ain't no stopping the Saints. <laughs> Why? That sink steals whatever they want. They have weapons I've never even heard of. I love this game. What am I wearing right now? I think Los Panteros is scared of me now. These insoles just make these shoes more uncomfortable. Hey, what's the big idea? I'm getting good at this. Did you know? Jasinski employed the same ingenious methods used by builders in his hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Out of a dank, fetid swamp, he built a city that would reach the sky. Did you know? Before he disappeared at the age of 84, Jasinski revealed his skyscrapers were in fact powerful antennas through which he could speak to the aliens from outer space. Saki bombs tonight! And I said... That'll cost too much. <laughs> Congratulations, you have completed the Jasinski Public Library. Ah, that reminds me. I've got a library book overdue. <laughs> Glad the boss left Marshall for the Saints. Welcome to the Jasinski Pavilion. To learn more about Antony M. Jasinski, developer of the Lakeshore Financial District, visit the nearby Jasinski Public Library. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? 
the Lakeshore Financial District was once a dank, fetid swamp. In 1902, Chicago native Antony Jasinski purchased the land and transformed it into the marvel you see today. Still on my money, too. Did you know? Antony Jasinski believed in the power of art to uplift and transform the human spirit. He commissioned this amphitheater in 1923 to serve as a venue for theater, music, and dance. Big time thief roaming around. I warned him not to sign that contract. Did you know? Jasinski specified the dimensions of the amphitheater to the exact millimeter in order to accommodate the landing craft of a spaceship traveling from the Capella system, 43 light years away. The job would be perfect if it weren't for my boss and the clients. Did you know? Though Jasinski vanished without a trace in 1951, his legacy endures. Performers and audiences of all ages continue to enjoy the pavilion that bears his name. Uh, I might be lactose intolerant, but I'll never give up cheese. Judge can't order me to pay child support. Congratulations, you have completed Jasinski Pavilion. I wonder what happened to the old guy. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. I really want to believe. Oh, a nice bath for you to take care of that. Next time, jerk!
If I got a job, then I'm not truly an artist. Welcome to McQuarrie. To learn more about historic Route 66, visit Cranston Township in the Rojas Desert. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? This land was once the ranch of Sheriff Francis McQuarrie, the man who brought Route 66 to Santo Ileso. Each year, thousands enjoy world-famous attractions along this stretch of highway, thanks to Sheriff Frank. Did you know? Kids of all ages love Radley the Rattlesnake, whose bite can inject enough venom to kill a hundred grown men who will die a slow, agonizing death unless they receive immediate medical attention. Maybe I should take a photo. Did you know? Archaeologists believe this roadside attraction was built around 1968, though its original purpose remains a mystery. It might be a calendar or a space for sacred rituals. I remember this.
snapping this for sure. Did you know? The Casino Motel celebrates the maritime history of Lake Sebastian with the glitz and glamour of the Vegas Strip. Room 218 still has the bathtub where gangster Billy Romano was gunned down in 1958. Turquoise bracelet. This made my day. Congratulations, you have completed McQuarrie. That's a lot of stuff I didn't know before. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Nice. Even Kev would want to wear this shirt. Welcome to Go Kart Go. To learn more about the automotive history of Santo Aleso, visit Lake Alacran in the Gehenna Badlands. Listen to every panel on both sites to win a prize. Did you know? In 2007, Marshall Defense Industries launched an ambitious go-kart development project. The company recruited top engineers and drivers to build the most advanced go-kart in the world, the MK979. Did you know? From 2002 to 2013, Santo Aliso native Winona Goodall dominated the sport of professional kart racing. 
During her reign, she practiced at this facility to the delight of local fans. I really dropped that combo? Don't you look at me that way. Did you know? To demonstrate the superiority of their kart technology, Team Marshall challenged the top-ranked kart racer in the world, Santo Eleso's very own Winona Goodall. Nobody can smell you. On my World War II documentary box set arrives today. Did you know? The race between Winona Goodall and Team Marshall happened on this track. At this turn on the final lap, the Marshall cart spun out of control and Goodall rode on to a decisive victory. Congratulations, you have completed Go Kart Go. This place has seen better days. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Whoa, the MK979. Oh, this machine's a legend.
Welcome to Frank's 8020 Brewery in Smelterville. To learn more about the history of beer making in Santo Aleso, visit Red Faction Memorial Park in Marina del Lago. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. If I'd done that, my mama would have whooped my ass. Did you know? This iconic water tower was once the command module of a rocket ship designed for interplanetary travel. After the Red Faction uprising in 2001, Altor scuttled the project and sold the property. Did you know? These old tanks were decommissioned in 1998. Altor modernized the facility with robots, a nanotechnology lab, and an orbital laser defense system. Down mess of a church. Hiya, boss. This rules. You forgot what I wanted. I'm drunk and y'all still ugly. Did you know? In the 1990s, market volatility led to the collapse of the local mining industry. Frank's 8020 declared bankruptcy in 1998, and the Altor Corporation acquired the company. And then I told her to pack her bags. I don't know what any of these buttons do. Why is the sidewalk only wavy and shit? I don't like this. Did you know? The Frank's 8020 Brewery opened its doors in 1902 and was the first industrial scale brewing operation in Santo Aleso, dedicated to serving the thirsty miners and metal workers of Cavanaugh County. Congratulations, you have completed Frank's 8020 Brewery. So Altoy used to own this place. Huh. I wonder whatever happened to them. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Perfect for any occasion. And just my size. Welcome to the Grand Prix by Louis Welch Mullane. To learn more about the history of street art in Santo Aleso, visit Beware the Grizzly Bear in Old Town. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? The Grand Prix is a street art installation by local sculptor Louis Welch Mullane. More of the artist's work can be viewed at his studio and gallery in the Rojas Desert.
Did you know? The artist scavenged parts to build these racers from the Scorpion Auto Plant in Smelterville. The factory closed its doors in 1970 when it could no longer compete with more modern facilities. Did you know? The Grand Prix is a celebration of innovation, ingenuity, and industry. These spidery speedsters race to see who will be the first to reach the big juicy orange at the top of the tower. I'm feeling this. Did you know? Keep it strange, Santo is the official slogan of the Cavanaugh County Independent Business Alliance. And no local artist has done more to keep it strange than sculptor Louis Swelch Mullane. Yes! Time's become irrelevant. Congratulations, you have completed the Grand Prix. All right. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Keep it strange, Santo. You know I always do. We done yet? Welcome to St. Thomas Carvacho and the Padre Salazar Community Center. To learn more about the miracles of El Santo Ileso, visit Meager Square in Old Town. Listen to every panel at both sites to win a prize. Did you know? In 1593, Padre Thomas Carvacho died near Panther Rock, his body ripped apart by wild animals. The holy man later appeared to his companions, whole and unharmed. El Santo Ileso. Shit. High score, here I come. Did you know? Padre Anselmo Salazar built the Church of St. Thomas Carvacho in 1901. Salazar had worked over three decades for the canonization of our very own local saint, El Santo Ileso. Padre Salazar built this community center for the people of Rancho Providencia. A champion prize fighter, Salazar also founded the city's first boxing league here on this site. This is terrible. My landlord is such an asshole about getting paid on time. Did you know? Padre Salazar competed in the boxing ring until his death at the age of 93. In his later years, Salazar used a specially made boxing apparatus called Pugnus Santus Dei, the Holy Fist of God. I like this!
Congratulations. You have completed St. Thomas Carvacho in the Padre Salazar Community Center. So that's why they call Santo Aliso Santo Aliso. Thank you for exploring hidden history with the Cavanaugh County Park Service. Enjoy your prize. Oh shit, it's the Holy Fist of God. 